How's it going, everybody? It's me, Shane, and I'm here to give you another Digimon Ghost Game episode review and recap. Today's episode is episode 14, known as Jashiki Warashi. Now, I did not do my due diligence and look up what a uh, Zashiki... Uh, oh, well, I didn't look up what it was, but I'll look up it right now. Uh, Zashiki Warashi is sometimes called a Zashiki Boko, a spirit-like being... Spirit like beings told about mostly in the Iwate prefecture. They're said to be yokai that live in parlors or storage rooms and that perform pranks. And that people who see one would be visited with good fortune. So, you know, uh, the uh, some of the official stuff is kind of, you know, kind of creepy. Okay, I guess they, this is like an anime girl version of it for Tohu or Toho. I'm sorry. So, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a yokai thing. And it's... it's Apparently there are several Zashiki Warashi characters in anime. Huh. I'm not all that versed in that, but... It's just like a Ghibli one. Huh. So, yes. These are actual things that happen. These are, this is based on a yokai. That looks creepy. And, um... This is actually the first time I actually looked this up live. So, that is what the name of this episode is based on. And uh, apparently the literal translation of that is Parlor Child. So before, before I even continue, please remember to give me a like, comment right there, and subscribe if you're new here. If you're not, hit the notification bell to be notified of more videos like this. And don't forget to share that video. So, if you remember last time, we had uh, Bokemon sacrifice himself so Gammon didn't die. And of course, when Pokemon turned into a Digi Egg, much like mine, Digimon did, Digimon X did, he got picked up and carried away by Black Tailmon, aka Black Godomon, with that cool hat and that lovely hoodie. That has to be the best Digimon in this entire series because he's just, or she, they, it is just cool. Here's a big old critique that I'm gonna give you, because I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try to spend time to just throw my critiques in now, because this sh really shouldn't be a long review. Um, the intro, the intro keeps going back, and I say this every single damn review, to Mummy Ma and our Pumpkin Ma. You know where I'm where I'm, I'm at at this point? A lot of you didn't like Adventure 2020 Reboot. Cool. But the one thing you have to admit is that when they did the intro of the digital world is full of digital monsters and they do this, this, and this, at least the flashes of past episodes dealt with what was going to happen now. Let's say the episode was about Takaru and Patamon. They would show how they met, how they were Angemon, how Angemon kind of died, then how Angemon came back, how he turned into Magna Angemon, or Holy Angemon, and stuff like that, right? Or or if it was uh, Joe specific, they would show Joe Agomon with the hot springs and dealing with that and being the leader on the boat. They would do stuff like that. And then it would lead into it. We keep getting the same stuff. I can't say stop it because they're not they, they're not listening to me. It's stupid. It's very stupid. But here we are with this episode. We start off with the guy walking down the hallway of what I consider to be an onsen, which is a uh, a hot spring place, but it's actually a resort. It's a, a very cheap resort, and there's a ball, a cut. Uh, uh, what is ball in Japanese? I think it's called uh, Tekken. I think it's Tenkai Tenkigama. It's uh, it's just a ball, and you can see little digital circles around it, and something saying "Play with me." And there's these red eyes. I already knew what this Digimon was. I just couldn't remember the Japanese name. Digimon is Mon Mon in English. I'll tell you the Japanese name when we get there. And it's saying, you know, play with me, and it's scaring the crap out of this guy, and it completely scares him. Now we see the crew. Remember, they're still in winter, just like we are, and the others have come with Kirishiro, who's there for a conference. Apparently, they heard about the Zashiki Washari, and, you know, Jellamons have to be by the ocean. Gamamon, first time at the ocean, or second time, I don't remember. He, he says later on he's been there twice. I think this was his first initial time. So, you know, the legend of the Zashiki, ah, Zashiki Wari is, if you see one, maybe you have good luck, right? I just said that earlier. And I even wrote in my little notes here, I think it's Mon Mon. So he meets up with the professor. 
dude must be super smart. He's like smart guy smart to be having these meetings and conferences with professors. Ruley plays the piano, which scares the crap out of him. And um, the girls are going to change into whatever. And 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 by girls, is Ruley and Jellymon. What the hell is Jellymon going to put on? Because she's a Digimon. Whatever. And um, there's some... Uh, it's, it's not called Jelly Donuts. <laughs> it's not called Jelly Donut Chain. It's called a... Uh, Mafuba, it's not a Mafuba. It's, it starts with an M. It's like a jelly filled bean. And he gets one, you know, the Gamma Mon wants one. He eats and he's like, oh, I want to share this with Bokemon. Everybody in the room looks at him. You know, and Goromon, Hero, Kiyoshiro look at him. And Goromon says, the one we know is gone forever. And Gamma Mon still doesn't get it. And before this happened, I was thinking to myself, you guys are a little bit too happy go lucky. Weren't you really sad that someone got killed last episode? Where is the emotional, you know, weight in this episode? It's way too damn light. Especially if I was supposed to take serious the, the death of last episode. I, I feel vindicated. Vindication. I feel vindicated about not really feeling much about Pokemon dying. Yeah, it's supposed to be shocking because of the first time they see it. The only reactions I get, there's only several small reactions, and this episode could have been so much heavier, and it could have added so much weight to the last one, because now, um, <sighs> because now, uh, you know, Gamma Mon is wondering where did uh, where did Bokemon go, right? And Hero has to tell him where he's going on the journey, because the girls are even listening through. You know the slide doors, and it's kind of a, it's it's a sad thing. He's like a little kid. He's not gonna understand that his friend died and has come back. And that's one of my complaints about this. In every other Digimon series where Digimon comes back, nine times out of ten, they are reborn and remember things. Now there are huge chances that they are reborn. And they don't remember stuff, and that's fine. It's just. It would make more sense for them to be like they miss their friend because their friend's not technically dead. Like, I feel like this would have more weight if it was like, I'm going to keep bringing it up, Digimon Tamers. If Sildramon killed him and then absorbed his data, that would be like, oh, he gone, gone. He ain't coming back at, at all. But we saw Black Tailmon, Black Godomon, pick up his Digi egg and book it. Yeah, <laughs> book it. So, and another thing that was mentioned in here was that why isn't the resort really successful? Because it's kind of a small rundown place if they have this good luck bringing yokai. <sighs> uh, Hero brings up that Bakuman because he says, we'll just bring some of the uh, manju, some manju. I've had manju before. It's pretty delicious. Bring some of the manju to Bakuman. Now, Bakuman is still around. He hangs out. He's been hanging with Hero, but... He goes to the library throughout the day, and he's not really there at night. He's probably out eating nightmares, and he's probably going to turn into, like, a evil Digimon. Now that his friend is dead, possibly. Who knows? But, now we are... Now we are with the professor that Kirishiro has met before. That was the same professor that um, helped spread that, that little weed mon virus. He's approached by the same little... Yokai ball, bouncing ball thing. So this time, he has a bruise on his arm because he goes to he's on the phone with Kirishiro. He's on his cell phone when all this happens, and he comes to him and says, "I think I encountered it." He leads the others to the wall where it happened, and dumbass heroes like maybe it's in your imagination. Even Ruli says it can't be in his imagination. You saw the bruise. Ma. <sighs> also, an interesting thing to note. Their Digimon are fully materialized. I'm talking about touching things, moving things around. They just say that they're hologram AIs. They're just giving up on the whole invisible thing. They're hologram AIs. Forget it. So, while they're all off doing this, Kirishiro is in there typing. He's like, I'm not going to meet up with this with this little thing. The lights go off. His computer goes off. He's hiding underneath the sheets, and he's hearing the play with me because the ball rolls up. I love the... Uh, the imagery for this one I liked a little bit because Kirishiro was outlined his his character outline and what in the uh, mat he's hiding under 
is outlined in white, but everything else is black. It's like a negative photo almost. And the sound of the feet going around him gets faster and faster, and boom, he's gone. And of course, when everybody gets back, the girls blame him for their room being messed up. And of course, he didn't do it. Gary Shiro, uh, coincidentally, or consequently, makes Hiro stay up all night with him because, you know, the Zashihiwari shows up at night and he has to, still has to go to a conference in the morning. He says, you got to figure this out. He's dog tired, Hiro sleeping. And he's like, you figure it out by the time I get back. Gamamon goes up to the ball. Mind you, the hostess of the resort sees him as interacting with this AI. Okay, he sees the ball and he's like, oh, circle. And she says, oh, you're interested in that ball, right? Yeah, it was one of the favorite things to be played with by one of our frequent guests. Uh, everyone called her Granny. But, you know, she hasn't been around for a long time. Actually, if I keep going back here, I want to hear exactly what I say. What's it called? A uh, veteran host called Granny. Um, but that's it. She doesn't really mention anything. I'm thinking in my head... Ooh, maybe Granny died. But at the same time, I have to remember, this is during the winter. This is how they get you. This is how they got me. So, <sighs> Kirishio's back. He's asking what they find out. They're unloading data on him. Apparently, the thing appeared only recently. It was only doing minor tricks, playing the piano, rolling the ball down the hall. You know, people hear human child crying. And Kirishio's on edge about the whole thing. Because there's a knock at the door. And it's my favorite Digimon of this whole entire series. Black Gatomon in the hoodie. Black Tailmon, if you're Japanese, in the hoodie. Hero opens up, hands him a package. He's like, oh, I remember you. As soon as he gets the package, Black Gatomon is gone. Ooh, I hope Black Gatomon turns to a cool-ass Lady Devimon. Man, I, I love this Digimon. So, inside are three new Dim cards. Hero puts one in, and they remark that, man, it's really sandy around here. There's Hokuto. That's Hero's dad. Even Gamamon calls him, he calls him by first name, Hokuto. There he is. And he's talking to his son. He's leaving a message. And he's basically saying, hey, yeah, I'm in this desert area. I just wanted to show you where I'm at. I almost got eaten by a Digimon. Don't forget, please, use the other two Dems cards that I, the other two cards I sent you. And Hero's just, he looks over his dad's shit. Legitimately, he doesn't look happy to see him. He doesn't look happy that he's alive. He just looks like, ugh, he's doing this crap again. Thought you cared about finding him, but now you don't care about finding him. Consistency, please. But I will digress. Um, and Gormans kind of uh, surmises that the the little chips that they've been using are able to show the dig the climate of the digital world, and. That's when Kirishiro was like, okay, so that's what it is when we click the thing and we're in that pseudo-digital world. That's just a climate that is somewhere in the digital world. Makes sense. I like it. It makes it, it's pretty good. Um, Of course, Ru and then Ruli's like, but isn't, then he just, he's essentially just sent his son a 3D photo album to brag to him. And Gamon asks us if he's on a journey too. And of course, of course, Hero says, yeah, he's on a journey too. Which he, he actually really is. What is he on a journey for? Who knows? He seems like Ash Dad from Pokemon. Like, just I'm just gonna leave you, kid. I'm not gonna tell you what's going on. Even Hero. Now this is now this is where, where where it gets me too. Even Hero's like, you didn't give me any information. All you did was just say, I almost got eaten. I'm in a desert. And even the other two Dems that they discussed, because back and forth, they've gone to the giant bathing area. It's not a mixed bath. There's one for men, one for women. They've gone to this giant bathing area where Gamamon swims because it's that big. But even there, he's, he's, he's like, You're, you didn't tell me anything. This dude is one of the biggest deadbeat dads ever. Right up there with Ash's dad. No damn sense. I digress, guys. <clears throat> so, you know, Hero's wondering. So, they're, they're talking about the black tail mon or the cat. They don't know what he's called. He just says the cat, the Neko. And Hero wonders if he can, you know, freely wander between the worlds. It's very obvious he can. And Agorma says he's never heard of this, but the evidence is in front of them. 
And Hero's thinking about evolution in the digital world. And he's like, there's so much we don't know. Maybe if we met Ghoulis Gamamon again, here we could find out some more stuff. And of course, Kirishiro was like, are you out of your mind? Are you stupid? And Goldmon's even looking like, whoa. So this guy shows up again, Kirishiro's saying, we're all done for. Point of order. Hero didn't seem scared of Ghoulis Gamamon. He just seemed perturbed and upset about the rude, very rude-ass things he was saying. But Ghoulis Gamamon has been the one Gamamon form that has spoken coherently. Where even though it's it's a taunting asshole, it's the one that's just actually just been speaking. You know, Battle Gamamon will say, you know, hero, let's do this, or he'll talk. You know, because he's a freaking Sonic OC. And the Triceratops one is just ready for battle. And the flying one is like, also ready for flying battle. So, but I think Gamamon, when Gamamon evolved, I think Gamamon gets more of an adult mind. Remember, in Japan, the forms are child, adult, uh, perfect, ultimate. Right? So, when he goes from rookie to champion... I think he gets a little bit more intelligent, and I will definitely explain that when I get to it. So now, they're in the math. That ball rolls in. Suddenly, something pulls the stop and the drain in the bath, and it's draining all the water out. The boys try to get up to go get their clothes on. Kirishiro's underwear is gone, and he's very upset. He's like, it makes no sense to get out of a bath and have to wear the same old underwear you, you wore when you were getting into it. Totally agree. I like that bit about the character. The hostess even apologizes and one of her helpers is saying, man, it's really gotten worse as time goes on. Maybe it's because there's a lot more people here. And Gamamon, when he saw the ball earlier, says, oh, that's Granny's. And they start to kind of put two and two together and Hero says, all right, we got a plan because cause Gamamon knows about this ball. So late at night, they have Ruli play with the ball, bouncing it around. It gets the same, are you going to play with me? And this is probably one of the, this is one of the good horror elements because I'm just going to show you this guy now because I don't feel like rambling on too much. I said it English, his name is Mon Mon in Japanese. His name is Koemon. I love Koemon. You say that about every Digimon. No, seriously, I like Koemon. Koemon's first appearance was in Digimon World 3, which was heavily inspired by Season 3 of Digimon, a.k.a. Digimon Tamers. He showed up as one of the three options, because you get three Digimon, but you get one of each of these guys. You get Koemon, Kumamon, and Kotemon, whose his name ends up being Bearmon, Monmon. They kept Kotemon for him for some reason. But yeah, I love Koemon. Koemon is, is adorable. Now, here's a shocker for you. His first anime appearance was actually in Digimon Adventure. You remember he was in that village where the Zambamon was kind of destroying everything and killing everybody, and we got we got um, Kreskarumon. Mm, good times. But let's just read about him real quick, because they do talk about him. But they only talk about him after... Well, I'll get to that in a second. So it's a, like I said, rookie beast virus Digimon. A beast that has the appearance of an infant monkey, and it does do the, the monkey chatter, which... Almost sounds like a child chatter, which is why I can see why they call it the Zashikiwari. Um, it has strength to wield a slingshot the size of its body and confidence in its ability to pre prevent its prey from escaping. It even falls from treetops due to its careless personality. Its stylish traits are its tiger print outfit and its white tip tail. Hmm, didn't know how to wear a tip tail. Uh, its signature move is the throwing hoop at the opponent's legs to ensnare them, called Mischievous Hoop. And it has a special attack where it shoots called Baby Sling. Now, it did use that baby hoop to grab the ball back when they were inside of the... Goodness me. When they were inside of the bath. So, now it's going everywhere and it's starting to cause all this ruckus. And, and right before it can just completely beat up on Ruli because it's just it's popping up all around. A uh, hero says, you know, horn attack. The little try, the little Gammon headbutts him, and they're all ready. But here's the, here's one of the good things. Gammon pays attention. He's like, "Are you crying?" And he's like, "No, I'm not crying." And he he is actually crying. And Hero kind of stops everything. Says, "Hey, I'm Hero. This is Gammon. Who are you?" He introduces himself. He, you know, Koemon. 
course, Saint Gorman goes about what Gorman is. I already knew who he was. I didn't even pay attention to when he was doing that whole thing. And he's like, just tell us about what's going on. So one day he appeared there in the end. No one can see him. He was just wandering around and he was just and he, he was alone. No one would talk to him and he got really hungry when he passed out. But one day, Granny, she saw him, gave him an orange. She would play ball with him. They would sit by the windows and they would watch the firework. And that was the thing that he kept going on about with Ruli saying, you're going to play with me, so you're going to go watch the firework with me. She's like, sure, but it's the winter. And that's why he was like, you're not Granny, that whole horror thing. And just Granny is up and gone. One day she just stopped showing up. So this is why I'm like, oh, okay, so Granny died. Because, you know, that's why he's asking why he was playing pranks. And that's when all this happened. And I'm thinking, okay, obviously she died. The, and, and you see it on Gamma Mom's face. And Gamma Mom's like, hmm, kind of sounds familiar. But Hero goes, all right, guys, we're going to the beach. And we're going to have Gamma Mom evolve and shoot, make some fireworks for Ko, uh, Koei Mon. And everybody's like, what if we get the bad one? Shut the hell up. Because just Hero might as well just have said, shut the hell up. So they go. Koi Mon had never been outside of the resort before. Gamma Mon's like, hey, this is my second time. He turns into battle, Gamma Mon, your favorite Sonic OC. Uh, he said, the hero tells him to do that lasso move he does. He does the lasso move, sword shot, hits it, fireworks. Even Jelly Mon gets in on the action, does BB Thunder. Then they're making fireworks all night, right? And they're telling Koi Mon, hey, they're doing a voiceover during the fireworks. Hey, there's tons of Digimon out there, dude. There's so much world to see. Just go out there. You can meet more people. You don't even have to be alone ever again. He's like, really? You know what? I do want to meet other Digimon. I do want to meet other people. I'm going to go on a journey. And Gamma Mon this whole time is kind of looking down. And Ruby says, by the way, there was something that was underneath the ball that you did not pay attention to see. It was a letter from her son, from Granny's son, saying that uh, she is sorry that she had to, you know, leave so suddenly, but, you know, she said that she couldn't say bye to him, and he's like, oh, it's good to hear Granny's okay, so apparently, Granny probably didn't die, maybe she did, who knows, well, maybe she didn't die, it's just, she came there during the summer, summer's over, you go back home, she couldn't say goodbye, because she had to just leave suddenly, and, you know, Gamma Mon, is still looking kind of sad, and he goes off like Cole Cole and my goes off. And then we get the Angoramon ugh, before this, you know, Garamon's looking kind of down, looking sad. And Koimon says, Thank you, Garamon, I appreciate everything. And he leaves. And Goramon says, Connections are wonderful and mysterious. The first step is small, bright futures are accompanied by journeys. And Ruli once again go, What? Garamon says, Bokumon too. And that's where Hero goes, hmm? He's like, Bokemon's on a journey. No, 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 no. You grew up, you turned into your Sonic OC, and your little baby brain was able to comprehend, oh, he's not going to be around anymore. He's actually gone, gone. Okay. And that's why you're sad. Except that that's why you're sad. You cried last episode because he was gone. You cried. And Koimon throws uh, Kirishiro's underwear in the air. Fun fact, in Japanese, they don't call it underwear. They call it pantsu. So if you ever hear pantsu, they're talking about underwear, whether it's men's or women's pantsu. So he throws the pantsu, Kirishiro goes for his pantsu, and there you go. Uh, next episode is going to be about a fortune teller manner. It looks like an actual evil Digimon turning people to stone. But hey, these guys don't ever do anything. I mean, you showed us. And Gorman's evolution that he still hasn't had yet in, in the ending. And he's probably not going to turn into a next episode anyway. So who cares? <sighs> Let's get to this rating, right? I don't... So I don't like how Rebirth is working in this show. But before that, let's do the rating. This is average. Yeah, I made sure to try to get this as early as possible. Because some... The site that I the sites I go to to watch it sometimes it comes on at ten. It's kind of late. I try to get to as close to as yeah, you know nine, but I know it takes a long time to translate things. You know, official translators have to do things correctly. Here's my thing. 
I don't like how Rebirth is done in this show. It's pretty bleh. Very bleh. This character is annoying as hell. Even even his son, one of the main characters, is annoyed by him. Why the fuck aren't you telling us anything? Tell me something other than, oh, I'm gone. Did Hero's mom actually die? Do you believe that, oh man, I think your mom is out here, so that's why I'm traveling this. Or, hey, I got a, a transmission from a person alone, or some, a being from here that says something bad's going to happen and I wanted to help. There's nothing. We are 14 episodes in and there's nothing. There's actually no plot. We're just doing the whole mysterious ghost thing and the mysterious ghost thing is fine. But I didn't watch Yokai Watch for a reason. And I'm just going to be honest. I'm going to have to be honest with myself. I'm looking for something that's like... That's like... Tamers and Sabers. And not necessarily exactly like it. I'm just looking for something where, you know, I at least get some good fights in. Every episode doesn't have to be a fight. And I actually appreciate, you know, being able to talk down to Digimon without having to beat it up. But you're not doing anything. You're really not. You're not doing anything at all. The stakes don't feel high at all. It's just every once in a while, Digimon gets gets a little bit too rambunctious and we take care of it. Um, You know, I want something that's... This is fresh like Frontier... I don't, you know, I don't need seven or eight destined children. I am kind of getting tired of the three-person trope thing. You know, you guys could do uh, five, or you could do four, and then add a fifth. I would like that a little bit more to get more dynamic and get different interactions between different kinds of characters. But it is what it is. It's just, what did I call this? A three? Yeah, it is a three. It's just now it's just, it's, I started it, so I'm going to finish it. But I sincerely wonder how this show is doing in Japan. I wonder if the vital bracelet sales are what's holding this thing afloat. Because they have to come out with new stuff because they still haven't even revealed the mega form for these guys. But jokes on all of us, we haven't even gotten all three to get to champion form. I do hope there is more in store. If you aren't genuinely if you are enjoying this 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 series we're 14 episodes in we're almost at the 20th one please in the comment section down below tell me how much you're enjoying it tell me what do you like about the show i will say this i like that issues can be solved without violence but i want more violence i i want to I, I want for you guys to actually have more weight for digimon dying even if it gets reborn i still want people to do like think over it as opposed to going to the next mystery i need some more fighting and i need for that damn intro to just be done not the song the whole hey hologram ghost i'm gonna show you mummy mon roar and i'm gonna show you pumpkin mon might show you dracoon mon no stop give me something else you're better than that you are better than that again hit me up with a like Tell me what you think of this series in the comment section down below. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. If you aren't new here, hit that notification bell to be notified of more videos like this. We do these every week, and I will not stop until they stop. So, share the video so others can see what a grand time we're having. I may seem bored, but I'm doing my best to have an open mind with this. I do see, I do recognize a lot of the different things. Someone even mentioned to me online you know, this Dark Evolution is pretty different because it didn't require the partner, the human partner, to go dark. The human partner was fighting it while the other Digimon went, went full ballistic. And I'm like, that's cool. It's a cool thing. They're really not doing much with it. So, maybe it's a wait and see thing. But, you know, when you get to 20 episodes, it's kind of wait and see should be done. You should be moving things full steam ahead. As always, guys, thank you for taking some time out to spend some time with me. Please be good, be blessed, wash your hands, wear a mask. It's getting ridiculous out there, so be safe. Be safe. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. Out of the way it goes. Do not be a jerk, and I will most definitely see you next time.